all right, today was one of those days where I just thought, you know, I need a little bit of both. I need a little bit of cardio and I need a little bit of um, opening and space. So I'm blending it. I don't often do a cardio type flow class. I'll do a vigorous flow, but we're going to step this one up a notch. So if you are a beginner, this would not be the class for you. I would recommend going to my uh, basic yoga or a hatha yoga or a yin yoga and get started with that. Uh, but we are going to get moving fairly quickly and um, we'll settle into our breath to get started as we usually do and go right into it. We'll finish with some yin. We always get a little bit of that at the end to just kind of reward ourselves for all the work we're going to do. So get ready to sweat a little bit. Find a comfortable seated position and find your way into just a little rock back, shoulders, ribs, sit bones heavy. Take a deep, full breath in the belly and let it out the mouth. Let's just infuse our body with our breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more time, nice full breath all the way to the top of the head. And empty the breath. As your mouth closes and you breathe in and out through the nose, keep that breath full. Feel your breath coming in through the nose, cool, and out through the nose, warm. Feel like your breath reaches all the way down to your fingers, all the way down to your toes, up to the head, touches every space of the body. So it's almost like this will be a powerful calm today as we begin our practice. Powerful in that those deep inhales infuse the body with oxygenated blood flow. And deep exhales encourage the next breath to come in more fully. So we're vitalizing the body, but breathing in and out through the nose is a calming effect on the body. So it's kind of working in tandem. Breathe so deeply, so fully, that you begin to feel your ujjayi breath take over. You hear the exhale, you feel that fogging, sort of um, steaming breath on the exhale. And as we're fully intentional with our breath, fully immerse your thought into your body. And you get as much encouragement as you can today to your body. Encourage it to move with strength and vigor. And be honest and supportive with your body. Just because we will do a powerful flow, build up our heart rate today, it doesn't mean you have to do all the most complex things. We're still here to honor our body. We're still here to honor our breath. And we're here to be mindful and intentional. If your intention today is just to stay present and move as much as best you can, be that. If it's to be challenged, if it's to kind of detoxify, to purge something, let it be what it is. Keep that breath full, keep the breath deep, and just dive into your own thought here for a moment. Remind yourself if you feel distracted. Come back, come back to your breath, come back to your mat. I'm hoping that through the pace in which we'll move, you will be distracted enough to just stay present to know what we're doing and where we're going. That it will be a distraction to move you through your practice quickly, vigorously, to, to just to just push everything else aside, to just be in the moment. And I don't want to scare you off. 
I don't want you to feel like this is not for you. If you practiced yoga, if you feel comfortably fit and you're ready to to be part of your body and the mat, just be here. It doesn't matter. Take your options. I'll, I'll offer options. But be where you can be today. Just get immersed in movement. Take a moment. Bring your hands to heart center. A moment to honor you on your mat today. A moment to honor listening to your body. Again, every practice is your practice. Do what you can. There's no reason you can't stop. There's no reason you can't change during the course of this practice. But be encouraged to what's available. Honor the spaces that you're nourishing. And then as you release the hands from your heart, take a moment to just roll the shoulders up, back and down. And let's come to our feet. If you haven't oriented your mat so that you're facing the long edge, I would like you to do that because we're going to move through the center and we're going to move to each end of the mat. So I want you to feel how this is your best space of vision as we move in flow. Um, if it becomes something that you need to adjust, do so. If the music is challenging for you to hear, grab your own, something that has a good pace to it, at least for the bulk of our practice. So as we come to our feet, step your feet into mountain position. Feet under your hips. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Again, same breath. Inhale. Exhale. Full inhale. Full exhale. Arms reach to the sky. Eyes to look to your toes. Close to the neck, the shoulders. Take it a little further here. Inhale, rise up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, rise up on the balls. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale up. This time as you exhale, lower the heels. Dive into the forward fold. Inhale, come to halfway lift. Lengthen the side. Exhale, lower. Inhale to the top. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, extend it down, reach back. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, half way Exhale, heart center. Inhale, extend it down, reach back. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, half way Exhale, round it out, relax. Inhale. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, dive. Inhale, and halfway. Exhale, let it go. And big breath up to the top. Now, this time, as you exhale, come into chair. Hold the hands down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, round. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, chair. Hold down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, let it go. Sweep up. Exhale, chair. Hold it down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, find your chair. Find your chair. Step out to the left. Step out to the right. Inhale, over. Finding your feet parallel at the edge of the mat. Toes to the long edge. Inhale, in, lengthen out into your extended hand. Exhale, come halfway. You're going to fold down halfway, long spine, soft knees, lift your tailbone. Inhale, push the floor away, lift up, rock the hips forward. Exhale, come halfway. Inhale, rock the hips forward. Exhale, halfway. Deeper bend in your knees if you're watching low well back. A little more length and lift your tailbone if you're trying to tug on the back of the legs. When you look left and right this time, make sure the arms aren't way back here, but right outside your shoulders. And the shoulder blades are squeezed back to engage the upper back to protect the low back. Helps support the low back. Inhale again. This time on the exhale, come to that halfway. Pause here. Bend your knees quite deeply if you need to spin it around to the left. Come through center. Spin it around to the right. Just take enough spin to turn the ribs. Keep the hips set. Left. And right. 
does touch her and how that extends her nervous. Exhale, dive all the way down to your straddle. Keep the spine long, hands under your shoulders, grab a block if you need to, bend your knees, and you walk just a bit further out. On this time, inhale up, lift the left arm. As you exhale, bring it right back down. Inhale, right. Same twist, but with a little connection at the floor or on your block. You get a little stronger connection to turn a little deeper. Press your feet to the edge, lift your tailbone. As we slowly add on here, be mindful of the space of your feet. On this next inhale, lift up towards the left, sit down in the left foot or left knee. So as you're sitting down, push your hips backwards. And then come through the step. Inhale right, sit down in the right knee. Come back to center. Inhale right. And exhale. Sit down in the right. Now as you sit, look at your knee. Make sure it doesn't come away past your toe. Can you push your hips backwards towards the back edge of your mat? And as we keep moving, we slowly make shifts. This time, turn your left toe out towards the corner of your mat. So a little deeper. Come from center, turn your right toe out towards the corner of the mat. So a little deeper. Again, sweeping side to side. One more time to each side. And as we come back to the center this time, both knees bent, inhale, lift up. I'm going to walk my toes just slightly closer to find sun goddess. Sit down. Inhale, rise. Eyes to the sky, maybe. Eyes to the front. Hands come together. Elbows pull down to the earth. So as you sit, be mindful that your tailbone is lifting up here. We're inhaling long, sitting long. Tuck your tailbone down. Try to keep the back long, spine long. Deep breath in. Inhale, exhale, deep breath. One more time, pausing at the bottom. Sitting down deeply, spin the left foot, turn the palm, and right foot melts in, warrior two. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise. Be really careful with the knee, doesn't pass the toe. The knee presses to the edge of the back, to the pinky toe. Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. It's going to follow my breath, breath pace. Pause at the bottom. Turn back your center. Right through your sun goddess. Inhale. Lengthen up the right leg. Turn the right palm. Float into your warrior two. Left in your Exhale. Sink. Pressing through the edge of the feet. Back leg is long. Front knee lifts. And push it to the edge of the mat as you sit. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. It's okay if you want to move faster. If you want to even push your breath to try to match your movement. We normally want our breath to mesh with our movement. And if we can, let's do that. Feel free to push just a little bit here. One more on the top. This time we pause the course sometimes. Now inhale, turn to your right, warrior two, and spin it, dive down, low lunge. Spin the toes to the edge, walk back, chatter on the high to low. Rolling through, maybe start with cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple of breaths here to settle your down dog for this first time. Spread out the fingers, walk the knees just a bit, and then lengthen both legs. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee comes through, step into your low lunge. Inhale, sweep up high. Exhale, open, side goddess. Inhale, up, spin to the left, warrior two. Dive to low lunge. Step back to your chaturanga, knees or toes, cobra or moving up top. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step through. Inhale, rises. Open the side goddess, toes to the palms. Inhale up. Right side, warrior two. Dive down. Step back, shut it up. Roll it down. Down, Inhale, right leg. Now listen, we're going to rock forward. Bring your knee to your chest. Hold it here. Then rock back on your inhale. 
lengthen, inhale up, exhale, tuck, spread the fingers out. Always the option to come to your back knee. Pull the belly button in as you rock the knee forward. One more breath. Next time we step through, no lunge. Inhale, up. Exhale, sun goddess. Inhale, up. Exhale, left, warrior two. Dive it down. Shut it on. Roll through. Remember, you can take this option. Cobra. Down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Again, same rows here. Long spine. Inhale. Exhale, rock forward. Inhale, reach. Three legged down dog. Rock forward. Three legged plank. Spread your fingers out. Turn your hands to a wing. Keep supported to the wrist. Or again, we can take it here. Drop the back knee down. But keep moving. You can still lift your heart rate. Doesn't have to be always the most intense movement. Last time. Step between the hands. High lunge. Hug your side up. Inhale up. Warrior to your right. Reach back reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Dive it down. Now step back. You can float the right leg or you can keep it on the floor. Chaturanga. Roll through cobra or up dog. Leg can stay up the whole time. Right into your down dog split. Get there if you're not. Exhale. Knee comes in this time and comes to the outside edge towards your right elbow. Inhale up to the side. Exhale, outside the right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, lengthen. Strong up forward. Last time, inhale up. Exhale between the hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, sun rise. Inhale up. Left side, warrior two. Reach back, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Dive down. Shutter up and down right or left leg can float or stay on the floor. Reach your through. All the way back to down dog or come right into your three leg. On the exhale, knee goes outside, left elbow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Keep rocking. Keep strengthening here. We've got one more. Last one comes between the hands. Low lunge. High lunge. Sun goddess. Inhale up. Exhale right. Warrior two. Reach back reverse. Come through. Side angle. Elbow to knee might be your start. Dive it down. Low lunge. Step back again. Toes down. Toes up. You can decide. Cobra or up dog. Reaching back down dog to knee and three legged. Now this exhale, knee comes towards your left elbow, twist it under. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist under. Shoulders stay square. Hips rotate. Breathe. This time, step between the hands. Low lunge. Inhale, high. Exhale, sun goddess. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left. Reverse. Your warrior two to side angle again. Your choice. Walk or floor. Elbow or knee. Rock it down. Reach back, floating the foot or not. If you can come to your knees, still do the same work. Meet in three legged down dog. Take it in hand. Exhale, knee comes to your right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, reach two. Keep breathing. Step in between the hands. High lunge. Side goddess. Inhale up. Right side, warrior two. Reach through reverse. Through warrior two. Side angle. Now spin the toes, bring your left hand down, and open your twist to the back. Now set it down. Step back. Three legged plank if you want. Three legged chaturanga and vinyasa flow. Meet in three legged down dog. Inhale up. Exhale knee to chest. Inhale up. Exhale knee outside your right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale right. 
until he comes under. Let me talk about it. Last time up. Reach between the hands, low lunge. Inhale high. Exhale, side dives. Inhale, left side. Reverse. For your side angle. Now take a spin. Right foot, right hip, right hand. Left arm reaches twist. Back across the back. Step back again. All ten toes, knees, or close the foot. You get all these options every time. Meeting a three-legged down dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, knee comes inside. Inhale up. Outside left elbow. Inhale. Tuck to the right. Twist under. Beautiful. Keep working. Step between the hands. Inhale up. Exhale. Send back. Inhale up. Warrior two right. Reverse. Three warrior two. Side angle. Stay here low. Spin it all the way around. Find your twist. Now, pause right here. When I'm facing away from you, but back knee can come down if I want. Come into side plank or keep that back leg up. Come to full side plank. Inhale. As you exhale, turn to face the floor. Float the foot if you want. Roll it through. Reaching back. Deep breath in. Exhale, lead the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, outside. Inhale, reach strong. Tuck it under, twist. Stepping right between the hands. Inhale. Exhale, so good. Inhale, rise. Left side, warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two. Side angle. Deep down. Right hand lands. Twist up. Again, back you can come to the mat or stay up. Side plank. Finding your way to your chatter on leg up or down. Use your options. Your deep breath here in three-legged sit or three-legged down dog. Exhale, come knee to chest. Inhale. Exhale, left side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck her. Inhale, last time. Step between the hands. Inhale, high. Exhale, seven left. Inhale, rise. Right side, warrior two. Can you step bigger? Reach back, reverse. Through your warrior two side. Let's pause here. Can you sweep the hem around? Take it through. One more big circle. Can the hand drop right back down onto your hip? Reach behind you. Maybe there's room to sit down. Can you find a bind? Now, it doesn't mean you have to. Binding is an option. Otherwise, stay here. Pull the top shoulder back. One more inhale. Exhale, release the hand. Turn and face the floor. Spin the hips and shoulders. Right hand replaces left. Twist. Your choice, back knee up or down. Your choice, top leg up or down. And same thing, chaturanga. Leg up or down. You find your home. We meet. Three-legged down, dog inhale. Exhale, lead adjust. Inhale, rise. Exhale, outside the right. Inhale. Twist under. Big breath. Step through. Now pause here. Pull the shoulders back. Inhale the arms out in front, low or high. Float forward. Find your warrior three. Doesn't matter how big, right? I can start it here. Float through or dip down. Inhale. Exhale the arms back. Inhale, whether the hands come low, mid, or high. Exhale, arms back. Turn your hips to the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath through. Last time. Inhale all the way through. Bring it around. Find your side goddess. Inhale up. Left side. Step bigger. Reverse. Warrior two. Side angle. Stay here. Maybe it's on my knee. Reach it back. Inhale up. One more time. Big circle. It doesn't matter if I'm on my elbow, on my block, or on the forehand to your hip. Draw the shoulder back, hand to your back, maybe. 
If you've got the option to drop the shoulder, thread it through a vine, take it. Doesn't mean you have to, right? Find your home, pull the top shoulder back, one more breath. Exhale, release, turn to face the floor. Again, float the right hand down, left hand up. So again, you have that option, back the up or down. Reach back, foot, up or down. Face the floor. Find your chaturanga. What's your version? Apply it through your flow. Reaching back. Eventually, three legged down dog. Exhale, take me to chest. Inhale, rise. Exhale, outside. Inhale, rise. Exhale, under. And then, inhale, rise. Step between the hands, now pause here. Can you pull the shoulders back? Both the hands low, mid, or high. Push and find your warrior three. Square it, set it. Inhale, exhale, sweep step. Now, I'm going to inhale, I'm not even here. And then back, or bigger. You decide where you're going to be. Again, whether you're high or low, this might be my warrior. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale all the way through. Step back. Sunrise. Inhale up. Right side, warrior two. Big step. Reverse. Right through warrior two. Side angle. We're not going to bind this time. We're just going to keep sweeping that arm around. And dive down. Replace the right hand with the left. Inhale to your twist. Find your side plank. Kneeling. Extended. Lifted. And roll it through. Shut it off. Reaching back, down dog. Three legged down dog takes an inhale, last time the chest. Inhale, exhale out. We've got our rhythm now. Exhale under and twist. Big breath. Step it through. Float into your warrior three. What does that look like for you? Reach back. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, come all the way into chair. Take a twist, twist toward the back of the mat. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, step through. Find your side balance. Inhale, rise. Left side, warrior two. Reach back, reverse. Warrior two. Find your side angle. Okay, arm just sweep all the way around. Dive it down, spin. Right hand place. Again, side plank, kneeling, full, extended. You are Chaturanga. Meeting in three legged down dog, using your exhale to come knee to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, last time. Inhale, exhale, right. Inhale, last time. Step through low ledge. Be strong here. Push forward. Find your warrior three. Wherever that might be. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, step in the chair, sit down, find your twist to the back, inhale, rise, exhale, open, sun goddess, now, pause here, settle, knees open, settle the shoulders and pull your elbows under, wiggle the toes out, and settle into the edge of the feet. Can you sit a little deeper? Tuck, tuck, tuck the tailbone. Inhale a little bit. Exhale a little deeper. Inhale, rise a little bit. Exhale just a little deeper. One more time. Inhale, rise a little bit. Exhale a little deeper. Now as you inhale this time, sweep the arms up. Exhale, brush. Inhale. Exhale. Let's cleanse. Push the breath. Detoxify here. Every time you sit, push the knees toward the back edge of your mat. Don't let your head come below your heart or your hips. I can sit my hips wide deeper if I take my feet wider. But just make sure your knees aren't so wide that it's uncomfortable to sit, right? Be confident. Lose yourself in your breath. In, exhale, in, exhale, in, exhale. Push, exhale, in, exhale. Keep driving, keep powering through, get lost in your breath, lost in your intention. I 
promise we will get a break here in a little bit. But we are going to keep moving. We're going to keep the heart rate lifted, keep space in the joints, strength opening. Two more breaths. Last time. Floating to your side knocks. Inhale, rocks open. Warrior two. Reach back, reverse. Come through your side angle. Circle that arm one full time. Drop it down. Turn the hips. Find your side plank quickly. Find your shoulder up. Roll it through. Down dog or three legged when you're ready. On your next exhale, knee to chest. Reach up. Outside. Take it under. Now listen. Next time you come knee to chest, we're going to hold it there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Pull up through the heel. Scoop up through the belly. Keep it strong. Push the floor away. Take one more big breath. Step through. Low. And as you find that low lunge, rock in. Warrior three. Sweep back. Now follow me. Bring your knee to your chest. Come up. Open up. Tree pose. Come back to warrior three. Arms fly back. Float up. Find your tree pose. Arms are your choice. They can stay here. They can go high. Reach back. Square hips. Arms are your choice. One more time. Warrior three. From tree pose, find your chair. Sit down deeply. Open into your twist. Take another inhale to rise up. Bring the left leg with you. Reach right back in. Sun ducks. Exhale. Inhale. Left side. Warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two. Side angle. Again, your choice. Keep circling that arm. Drop the hand down. Find your twist. Reach it up. Step back to your version of side plank. And your version of Chaturanga to Vinyasa Flow. Reaching up, three legged down dog. Knee to chest. Inhale. Outside, left side. Push yourself here. Again, you're using the options that work for you, but I want you to find your intensity. Find your challenge point. Last time, knee to chest. Hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. Scoop it up. Pull your heel to your buns. This is an option. You're going to hold it still. Stop still strong. Keep pulling and pulling and pulling shoulders back. Push them out of the way. One more breath. Step three. Find your way to your balance. Four and three. Reach back. Now float it up. Find your tree pose. Doesn't matter where, high or low. Hands are your choice. Reach back. Four and three. Good. Where is your home? Where is your challenge point? One more side tree. Sorry, I lied. Last time tree. Now we find our chair. Sit down, twist. As you rise, pull the right knee with you. Step back. Side goddess. Sit down. Inhale up. Right side, warrior two, I know. We're not done yet. One more round three, reverse. Your warrior two, side in. Let the arm circle. Land, find your twist to the back. Step back, find your side plank. Chaturanga, yes. Three legged down, down. Inhale, back side of the chest. Inhale, rise. Outside. Tuck it under. Last time, hold the knee at the chest. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Be strong here. Push the floor. Pull the heel up. Scoop in through the belly. One more breath. Exhale. Step back. Inhale rises. Find that warrior three. Reach back. Find your tree pose. Now we're going to shift here just a little bit. Not chair quite yet. Reach this left leg back. Step it so that it is reverse, or excuse me, warrior two. Toes to the outside, pull back here, and even turn it out a little bit. Pull back, I call it my use sample. <laughs> pull back, sweep it through, tuck under, high lunge. Turn the back foot, sit back, pull this left arm. 
circle under. Now the goal here is to get as low as you can. To slide your hips to the side and slide them front, keeping that T low lunge. Low slide, low slide. Oh yeah. When feet start creeping too wide, use a swivel to pull the foot in a little bit. If you can challenge yourself, sit down a little bit further. One more time. Turn it. So guys. Inhale, right to the left side of the warrior two. Reverse. Back your warrior to the side angle. Let it spin. Come to your mat. Find again. Your side. Your chaturanga to the nyasa. Reaching back. Knee to chest. Outside. Take it under. Knee to chest last time. Hold it here. I want you to be as strong as you can. Back the upper down. Pull your heel up. Hold up through the belly button. Push the floor away. Breathe here. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. One more breath. Exhale. Step through. Rock it forward. Find your warrior. Take it back. Come through. Now step back. Same warrior two feet, but turn this back, but ever so slightly. Pull back, right arm. Slide through, sweep under, lunge. I'm going to try to stay low here. Turn. Pull back, lean to the back leg. Slide through, turn up. Slide through, pull back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the deeper you get, the wider your feet, the more intense the work is. So if you want to take it lighter, come up here, right? Maybe it's lighter because of your knee, not because of the intensity is bothering you, right? You're working. You're intensifying, no matter how high or low, finding your push point. Be strong here, keep breathing. Where can you challenge yourself on this last one? To sit deeper, to pull stronger, to come through high, and open. Sweep it through. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Big breaths. Push your body to match your breath. In. Out. In. Out. Breathing. Push it out. Close your eyes. Keep nudging the knees back, leaning the hips back as you sit. Now open the eyes. On your next breath, step just a little closer. Turn your toes toward the long edge. Same sweep. So the feet are just outside the shoulders, the toes facing the long edge of the back. Keep breathing, keep sweeping. Keep pushing the hips back every time you sit. Next breath, step the right foot in. Hands or feet underneath the hips. Sit deeper. Find your challenge point. Next step, in chair pose. You decide feet together or feet slightly apart. Arms come behind us. Inhale, so they just kind of fly back, fly up. Make sure that you're sitting deeply, pulling your ribs towards your thigh bones. Not letting the spine round here, right? Protecting your back, squeeze the shoulder blade. Let the arms drop, let them fly up. And exhale. <laughs> As I fall down, exhale. In, breathe, push it. Last time. Inhale at the top, exhale, hands heart center. Close your eyes. Listen to your breath. Thank you. 
Deeper, begin to drop your heart, pull your ribs between your thigh bones. Let the head begin to fall as it passes the hips. Let it drop to the floor. And the arms might be able to lift a little bit or a lot. Find space in your shoulders. If just simply keeping your elbows long and your shoulder blades back is a challenge, that's where I want you to sit. No rounding. Pinch back. That's your first focus. Arms long, shoulder blades back, arms lift in the very end. Head drops. If you want a little more space for the back of the legs, feel free to lengthen the legs here a little bit, but try to keep your ribs towards your thighs. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. As you exhale, let your hands dribble to the floor. And as your hands fall down, Feel free to cup your elbows, fold your arms, or just let your arms fall. Try to lean or sway your shoulders side to side. With your elbows folded or your arms folded and your elbows bent, there's a little deeper tug on the upper back to release some of that work we did in the shoulders. So let your head fall onto your arms, between your arms, whatever it is for you. One more breath. Let the arms fall free. Take a little inhale to a halfway lift. Bend your knees a bit deeper. And just bring your knees back down to the floor. Turn to face one of the short edges of your mat. Just pause here. We did a lot of work on the hands today with our chaturanga. So take the left hand, flip it under, so that the thumb is facing your other hand, right? Palm to the ceiling. If your elbow is bent like this, then you push long and swivel, right? Swivel your elbow around so that the bend of your elbow faces the short end of your mat. Shoulders back. Now, if that doesn't feel like much for your wrist, scoot the hips back a little bit and try to keep the back of your wrist sealed to the mat so you get some tug here on the back of the wrist. Breathe in deeply. Just push the air back out. One more breath. Rocking forward, release the hand, maybe a little swivel or shake. And then we'll take the other hand and do the same. So if you want to keep this one neutral, you just take a fist, put that fist on the ground. Tuck the other hand through, back of the wrist, stretch your fingers out again. Make sure the elbow doesn't look like this. It actually will straighten and swivel. You know, it looks super crazy, but swivel the elbow around so the elbow bends toward the short edge. Sit back if you want more, but keep the back of the hand, up, back of the wrist sealed down. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time. Nice full breath. And finally, just a little wiggle, swivel, shake maybe. I want to do the same kind of honoring of our feet. So tuck your toes under and sit backwards. I call this my wrestling stance. Um, so as we get into wrestling position, uh, spread your toes out. Try to touch your pink toe to your big toe onto that mat. Flare your toes out and just literally push the weight of your body back toward your feet. Feel a nice deep stretch on the bottom of the feet. Now this is phase one. This can be intense as it is. If that feels too intense, stay here. If it feels like you need a little more, you start lifting and putting more weight back to the feet. So hands come to your thighs. The more we lift, the more we sit, the more weight shifts back, the more intense we become. So find your home. Leaning forward, hands on the mat, or a bit taller. Again, you've got to breathe. Deep breath in. Patient on the exhale, trying to remove all that intensity. 
Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath. And find as you exhale. Release forward. I like to kind of pat my feet out a little bit before I turn around. We're coming to seated. it. So roll it back around. And as you come to seat, and I'll have you face the long edge just for a moment, we're just going to release a little bit on the outer space of the hips and glutes. So bottoms of your feet are together, but not in butterflies. So push away from you. So this is more of a diamond shape. I'm just going to step my sit bones back a little bit, try to lift up nice and tall. And you can even use your hands behind you to lift the chest and push the ribs forward. If you start feeling it here in the glutes and the outer thighs, then you're in the right space. Forward. If you don't feel much, reach your arms around and hug your thigh, uh, thighs, your shins, and pull forward. Maybe even wrap around your feet to pull forward. Now you might come deep enough here that you could just let the head fall. So this becomes more than just hips and outer thighs. It's all the way down the neck, the upper back, down even to the low back tops of your hips. And for some, this is about gravity and a little bit about bicep strength and shoulder strength to hold. If you hug your hands under, so reach a hand through, you could actually scoop your feet and pull yourself down. A little bit. If that feels good to you, great. You don't have to. You can stay right here, right here, drop your head. Find your home. Try to ease your way closer to the floor through your heart, as if your heart is reaching for your heels. Relax your neck. Again, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Do that maybe two or three more times. Next inhale, slowly lift up. Knees back, scoop those legs if you like. Turn to face the short edge. Just settle your hands behind you. You can take fingertips to face your body, melt into the heel of your hand, and walk your feet a little bit wider, just rock a little bit. This also feels really good down in the IT band. Passive, sort of relaxed twist. Here to use your legs if you'd like to roll to your back. When you get there, as you rest the head, pause just to again rock a little bit into the back, maybe sway a bit side to side, turn and wiggle your head to do something that. And we're taking our feet and our hands up to the ceiling. So we did a little stretch with our hands and our feet on the mat, facing the floor. Now we're facing the other way. We'll roll it out. So no pressure, no intensity. It's about lightness, breathing of movement. Feels good. Flare the toes, curl the toes, ball the fist. You might even move your hands and stretch out here. So just play with them a little bit. What feels good to you? Just pause. Your knees can be long, right? I don't want you to hold your legs, or they can be soft. The elbows are soft. The arms are melting into the shoulders. The legs are melting into the hips. So you just relax your wrists, relax your fingers, relax your toes. Relax your head into the mat so the neck is soft. Close your eyes. I know it feels weird and seeing it looks a little bit weird, but you can just close your eyes and find your breath again. Imagine with every exhale that your arms and legs get even wider. Full breath in. And as you exhale, even wider. That deep oxygenated breath sends your blood flow to your head. This is an inversion where the head is maybe not below the heart, but kind of upside down in some sense. Keep 
filling your breath deeply and emptying it completely. Three more breaths. As you release your last breath, begin to slowly melt your elbows down, melt your arms. Do the same with your legs or feet. If they come down, slowly drop one foot at a time to the mat. And I just want you to keep your eyes closed and observe. Feel you know, the warmth, the tingling sensation coming back into the arms, the legs, the hands and feet. Breath in, breath out. Breathe in, breathe out. To settle into your mouth, just take a moment to acknowledge where you're at and how you feel, what might feel appropriate for your shots today. We're going to walk your feet apart and let your knees stay bent, just resting together. Extend out into full corpse pose. Draw the seat in from either side. Take a moment to explore your final posture.
on your next few breaths, to be awakening breaths. Listening your thought to movement. And allowing the movement to slowly broaden. Take a moment to roll to one side. Just a moment to pause there, to capture your intention, to honor your energy. a simple seated position. Join me in a full breath in, reaching your arms to the sky, and a full breath out, hands to heart center. Deep breath in through the nose. One more time, sigh the breath out. empowers the body and also has the ability to calm that moves on its own but allows us to encourage it and to utilize it we honor the body for everything it gives us this day for its strength its opening for its ability to move with us encourage us for the support that it needs. We honor each of our intentions, why we took, stepped onto our mats, and what we take from our mats. And honoring the light in each of us. Namaste. Thank you for taking time to uh, join me for this practice. And I hope that you do it again. And um, if you have requests, please feel free to post them. Um, send me a message, however you can get a hold of me. Happy to make uh, that part of a future practice. Thank you and have a great morning, afternoon, and evening.